Listen carefully, because I know what happened to your brother Jason the night he died. Ten thousand, cash. Small bills, uh, you have it ready, I'll call you back. Now you listen to me, Turner Bates. Kidnapping is a federal offense. Now you have precisely one hour to return my daughter unharmed, or I promise you, you'll regret the day you ever saw Falcon Crest. Do you understand that? I know it was wrong of me to go back on my promise to you. I was greedy. I wanted it all. Well, looks to me like you got it all. Just not where you expected to get it. <laughs> Look what I did for you. I got Cliff Barnes to run for Congress. I buried all that money you gave me to run his campaign. Money I gave you for Cliff Barnes? Well, why would I want to do that? I hate the man. Oh, don't do this, JR. I know enough about you to cause a lot of grief. Well, you're welcome to try. But before you do, I want to give you one little piece of advice. Get out of Dallas. I heard you offer a med five million bucks to blow the Carrington oil lease deal. Is there more? There is. You've made a lot of enemies, Alexis. Most of them you flatten like a bulldozer, but Carrington isn't your typical enemy, is he? I wonder what he would say if he knew what you're part was in this scheme. I think he would break you into so many pieces that nobody could ever put you back together again. Oh, Pam likes what she sees. Well, there, uh, there won't be much to like at first, just a hole in the side of the mountain. That's where we'll set up camp. I'll, uh, show her how things are done, what equipment we need. Take a look at this. We can fool her into thinking these were found inside that mountain. She should be willing to invest as much as we want. You freaked out creep. I didn't want anybody to get hurt. I just wanted Lance to look bad to Angela. And you think he didn't? <laughs> look, she just got a little shook up. It could have been a lot worse. But it wasn't. Now, how about my money? I should refuse to do this. Wouldn't be very smart. Your friend, Cole Giberti, is going to be home real soon. I don't think you'd want him to know anything about this. I came here for Lotus Point. But I didn't expect to fall in love with you again. Or that you'd fall in love with me. I don't hear you suggesting we forget Lotus Point. Would it help? All right, let's forget Lotus Point. No, it's point. too late, Charles. It's too late. Why? Why? If we love each other. Love. Love is nothing but trouble, even when it works. Abby. Which is practically never. Abby. And it's hopeless when there's no truth or trust in it like ours. Now, I think love is God's little joke on us. Laurel and I haven't been up to anything. At least not what you think. Well, that might be kind of hard to try and prove to your wife. <laughs> but, <laughs> like I said, she doesn't have to know. Hey, hey. You're a stupid young man, Sheldon. Take it easy. If you think I'm going to put up with blackmail, $50,000, and my lips are sealed forever. Your lips are sealed. Right now. You're very beautiful, Claude. Thank you. Very lovely. Please don't. Very attractive. I have to work. Why are you getting so upset? I was only paying you a compliment. A pass is more like it, and I intend to tell her. I will deny it. Which one of us do you think she will believe?
I hear how you were all hot and bothered waiting for me to come back, so just pucker up and we'll have a little kiss. Those luscious lips. Hey, hey, what the hell is going on? What are you doing here, sir? <laughs> well, all I'm doing is having another ride on the roller coaster. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Our little afternoon here. I'm going out now, Michael. Don't be here when I get back. I don't suppose your daddy would be too pleased to hear what uh, good friends we've become? That's ugly, Michael. Well, I mean, I'm not asking you to marry me or anything like that. But driving some rich guy around all day is not the most interesting way of making a living. Especially if you got the brains to do better. Which I believe I do. I mean, if my bank has to foreclose, that could be the end of you and oil. Your bank's not going to have foreclosed. Let me put it this way. If I default on that loan, which I'm not going to do, that means that your bank owns Ewing Oil, and I end up working for you. When you go on a trip, who pays? You're a bastard. What's the matter, Amanda? The truth hurt. I am so glad to be out of this marriage. So many years of being pushed and shoved and needled into doing what you wanted to do. Always what you wanted, never what I wanted. You never knew what you wanted. You're the one I feel sorry for is Val. I hope she finds out about you sooner than I did. Good luck with your cowboy. Maybe he'll like moody, neurotic, insecure women. And maybe Val likes self-centered, insensitive, immature men. You'd be reasonable, J.R. We're protecting you as well as ourselves by trying to get Julie out of town. If she'd have talked to Barnes, you'd been finished, too. He didn't have to kill her. She wouldn't have said anything. I'd have seen it end. It was an accident. Now, you know that. Well, now, the way I look at it, what happened was as much your fault as ours, and we've been doing all the paying up to now. From here on in, it's your turn. We need money and quick. You think I'm going to give you money? What for, old time's sake? You got nothing on me. Look, it's over, okay? It's nobody's fault. And if it is, it's, it's ours. Stop bringing CG into it. It's over? The marriage. Why don't you just admit it, okay? We'll, uh, we'll try to remain friends and go our separate ways. I think you should move out. Soon. Now. And then what, CG moves in? Richard, stop it. It's us, it's not anybody else. We tried and we failed. You failed, not me! I've given everything I have to this marriage! You, 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 you think I don't know what's going on? You're not hearing me. This has nothing to do with CG. Oh, no? Which side of the bed does she like? you've been savoring it the labor of your love i don't know what you're talking about neil oh i think you do alexis i think you do you see yesterday when the claire maynard story broke in the chronicle i called some friends in washington i still have a few and it seems that a man named hess from denver did the original legwork of course you know him. Yes. 
I don't know anyone called S. That's strange. Because he seems to know you. Oh, I do not see why I need an invitation to visit my own daughter. Because Charlie and I are a family. We have a routine. You are not part of that family. I don't want our lives turned upside down, and I don't want her upset. But uh, did she seem upset? No. Naldo, I thought it was important for Charlie to know who her father is. I expect to be informed when and where you're going to be with her. Ah, uh, you're still as headstrong as when we were married. I'm going to be married. Yes, I know. To me. But there's no excuse for what you've done. Just... Just tell me you're not a murderer. <laughs> Just tell me something. Anything I can go home with. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know why they sent you down here. No one sent me. Did they think you could get to me, huh? Did they think you could make me talk? You killed CT, didn't you? You killed that sweet, beautiful girl. You got her pregnant and then you killed her. Get out of here. Before inflation got so bad, that $35,000 you gave me could have gone a respectable way. These days... Listen, you weasel. Nobody blackmails me, especially not you. So forget it. Get it out of your mind, you understand? Or something very unpleasant is going to happen to you. Oh, it's not that simple. Well, make it simple. Don't you ever mention that baby again, either. But tell me, Mr. Ewing, uh, does your wife feel the same way? Did you ever, ever come near my wife again? I'll kill you. And then I want you to call for an ambulance. And I want you to shriek it as in a Greek tragedy. Oh, dear God, he can't be gone. Please, please save him. Talk about award-winning performances. Who's she? I'm his partner. So am I. What? Listen, I, I, I can explain all this. You'd better. Why didn't you tell me your partner looked like this? I'm here to see Alexis. Oh, she's not here. And if she were, I don't think she'd want to see you. She's through with you, friend. And taken up with you. Well, if she has, why not? I've given her everything you couldn't. In case you've forgotten, the woman divorced you, Dexter. After that incident with her daughter, she considers you scum. And that is what you are. Pure scum. But traveling with a woman for her money. Oh, exactly why did you travel with Marco? At least he was cute. Betty looked much better before she turned blue. Oh, Nick. You must quit calling me Nick. My real name is Dimitri. You lied to me about your name? You said you were being blackmailed. I was sent to kill the blackmailer. If I had to kill someone, you could have told the police my real name. See, so you are a killer. Maybe you did kill Betty. I did not. It was a heart attack. What is your real name? Dimitri Papas. That's Greek. You're Italian. My ancestors were Greek. Let me see your passport. Betty hired me to come with her to this country to the funeral of a second cousin because she didn't speak any English. That and other things. Look, lady, this goon is after my blood. Now I need help, damn it. Obviously. We'll get it somewhere else, Mr. Hess, and now get out of here before I have my security guards throw you out. And may I also suggest that when and if you do get the money from whomever, to buy yourself a new jacket. Don't you ever get sick of that atrocious eyesore you're wearing? You're going to regret this. Oh, you're going to regret this, lady. I'm concerned about your welfare. In fact, I've taken the liberty of sending a nurse to your ailing mother. She still lives in Rome, doesn't she? How, how do you know about my mother? She has a small flat near the Via Veneto. There's been a great deal of crime in that area lately. And your mother, so frail, so susceptible. I thought a nurse was the best solution. I hope you don't mind. But of course, I could withdraw the protection at any time. You won't stop at anything to get our land, will you? I'm a patient man, Mrs. Giannini. If I don't buy it from you, one day I shall buy it from your orphans. 